Tesla full self driving is perfectly capable of driving in Europe, pending regulatory approval. But Tesla is pushing regulators from every possible angle to greenlight its life saving software as soon as possible. The latest example is a shocking revelation. The cars are now driving themselves straight off the production line without any human assistance or supervision. How is this possible and why is it so significant not just for FSD in Europe, but also as a competitive supremacy? Today, we'll look at three secret advantages Tesla unlocks by allowing their cars to literally wake up and drive themselves from the moment they're born. The third one might shock you, so be sure to stick around. The official post from Tesla AI proudly proclaims that new Teslas drive themselves off the line at Giga Berlin. Autonomously navigating the factory premises, they stop by the on-site supercharger, then park in the outbound lot. I'm now going to analyze the full uncut ride from start to finish, dropping the secrets I promised along the way. So let's get the seatbelt buckled as soon as they finish installing it. And if you spot anything interesting I might have missed, be sure to drop it in the comments below. This right here is one of the most critical moments in the entire Giga Berlin factory. We find ourselves on the general assembly line. And what you're seeing is essentially the moment a new Tesla Model Y is born. Now, although the screen already says Tesla self-driving, the car is still being moved along by the assembly line, while the team is finishing up the cockpit and door installation. So before the car actually starts driving itself, let me clue you in. Tesla first started doing this back in January 2025 in the original Fremont factory. In April, they added the self-driving capability to Giga Texas. And now, finally, we're seeing it live from Berlin, Germany. The first advantage of turning self-driving on this early in the process is pretty technical, but let me explain. Historically, after getting a new Tesla, you can just turn on full self-driving on your first ride. You had to let it calibrate first, and that took a while. Whereas here, you can see the car wake up and make its first fully autonomous right turn as it leaves the general assembly line and navigates its way through the factory interior to exit the building. So what exactly has Tesla improved here? Well, previously, new owners endured a calibration slog that typically demanded hours of hands-on driving to prime the cameras for FSD. But on the 29th of January, Tesla's AI lead updated us on X. Calibration is now done automatically as the vehicle moves through the manufacturing line. Elon Musk himself echoed this sentiment by noting that unmodified cars fresh from the line are already capable of unsupervised self-driving. We're carefully driving through a super narrow corridor and to our right there's a worker wearing a special heat resistant suit made for dealing with molten aluminum at 700 degrees Celsius in the die casting layer. Earlier this day, the Model Y was just that, a few pieces of metal put together. Now it's already exploring the world on its own. And that's a huge advantage, not just for the new owner who can now jump in and enjoy FSD immediately as a part of their onboarding experience, but also for Tesla, the manufacturer. And that brings me to secret advantage number two. The best part is no part. So what happens when you delete humans from the boring and repetitive process of shuttling vehicles across factory grounds? From first principles, humans cost wages, introduce errors and bottleneck throughput. AI runs 24-7 without coffee breaks or union demands. Margins climb as labor reallocates to higher value tasks and scaling production doesn't inflate headcount. Fewer hands, lower costs, quicker cycles. In other words, having the cars drive themselves makes the whole production process both faster and cheaper. Now quickly look at the side mirrors. One gate is closing behind us before the other one ahead opens. The Model Y patiently waits, then rides out to get a quick top up at the supercharger. 
What fascinates me here is the smooth parking job, executed in just three turns, the lowest possible number. This rarely happens when using auto park in Europe, as I'm sure you know courtesy of our most watched video now having climbed up to 140,000 views. Would you like me to run another auto park test before we get FSD in Europe? Regardless, this parking job is beautiful. On the other hand, I have to say I'm quite disappointed to see a human plugging the car in, instead of Optimus. There might be no Optimus robots anywhere in the German factory, in fact, but there is one other piece of machinery that doesn't quite belong here, and we will encounter it soon enough. In the meantime, be sure to like the video or even hype it up through YouTube's latest feature. And here comes the real hype. An emotional support vehicle in the form of a Cybertruck with custom Giga Berlin decals. I have heard a rumor that if you put rubber ducks on all the sharp corners, it's completely fine to drive it even in Europe. But this is of course not legal advice. As we're driving to our final destination, the Giga Berlin outbound parking lot where the cars wait to be shipped to customers, let's see what we've learned so far before revealing the last secret advantage. There are intelligent robots driving out of the factory today who can carefully yield to pedestrians on their way. And there's one main reason why this is possible. Tesla is now able to finish the calibrating process of its full self-driving stack before the car leaves the assembly line, enabling the Model Y to start doing useful work from the first second. The car saves would-be drivers both time and money, and these people are now able to do more useful and fulfilling work for the company, while the robot handles the boring parts on its own. These two secret advantages multiply together into the third one, and probably the most significant. By collecting unsupervised miles right from the get-go, Tesla is gaining the most valuable data and real-world testing for doing the same thing outside the factory. They've already succeeded with world's first autonomous delivery from the factory all the way to the customer. And this is probably going to become pretty commonplace in the not-so-distant future. Think about it. Would you like the option of having a car delivered to your door by itself? With a nice little discount, of course, courtesy of deleting the trucking fees. And finally, it all leads to the robo-taxi fleet. Made up of the same Model Ys you see driving on its own right now. All of the cars you see ahead have already woken up and once regulators catch up, they can become butlers on wheels and start doing useful work even outside Giga Berlin. Look at how they already communicate with each other, putting on the turn signal so new arrivals know exactly where to park themselves. It's like one big family working together. They're the ones benefiting the most, learning how to drive better with every single car autonomously leaving the factory now. But can they handle real traffic conditions inside a busy European city center like Berlin? Click here to find out by watching my latest breakdown of Tesla's supervised full self-driving in Europe. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hype it up so others can witness the future as well. And I'll see you in the next one.